And now, the general weather around Alaska. Up first, uh, we'll see uh, high fire danger here, extreme fire danger in the forecast uh, through Friday, at least uh, through Friday evening here for the areas uh, in the uh, Fort Yukon area down toward Eagle, areas in and around the greater Fairbanks area out to the west and then on up into the Kobuk Valley. And again, uh, extreme fire danger due to low humidities at times all through this area and temperatures in the 80s. And for the uh, southwest coast, we've got a coastal flood advisory out uh, for continued high surf and possible minor beach erosion. And that's out for tonight. And moving on from there, thunderstorm outlook for Wednesday today, actually later this afternoon and this evening, uh, eastern interior here into the central part of the state, possibly down to the Talkeetnas and the northern Copper River Basin area, the McGrath and Nikolai there, then up across the mid Yukon River Valley area. And then moving on to the outlook for Thursday, you can see it expands all the way up across the Western Brooks Range, uh, central western north slope, even out to the Arctic coast. Chance of uh, some isolated thunderstorm activity tomorrow afternoon and evening up in those areas. And of course, back down into the eastern interior over actually into the Yukon. And then for the day on Friday, that retreats back a little bit into the central north slope Brooks Range area. Could see uh, Anatovic, Yadigan Pass area. Coldfoot could see an uh, isolated thunderstorm or two there. And then down southwest across the Yukon Flats into the uh, upper Tanana Valley 40 mile country there. And for the uh, Fire danger for spruce, the forecast for tomorrow showing extreme fire danger showing up here on the north slope a little bit there. And of course the big area here over the upper Yukon Valley into the central interior southward there in the northern Cuscombe Valley. And then uh, high, the very high fire danger all the way out into the central Seward Peninsula as well as up into the Noatak Valley. And uh, even more extensive there over the Kobuk Valley with uh, very high fire danger in the Copper River Basin. And from there, we'll take a look at the satellite imagery showing a lot of clear skies up over the interior today. Some areas of smoke over the central part of the state, eastward across the Fairbanks area, on into uh, the Northwest Territories there with uh, smoke free conditions down to the south or to the north. And then this band of clouds here associated with that uh, fairly active storm here out over the Bering Sea, big area low pressure out there near the Pribilof Islands. And that front kind of stalling out here as more moisture flows northward there. Rain, gusty winds the entire day today. Winds still gusting 45 to 60 miles an hour along the Alaska Peninsula here up along the southwest coast with periods of uh, rain continuing there from the Yukon Delta right on down across Bristol Bay into the Alaska Peninsula. Breezy, wet and uh, cloudy conditions for the Pribilofs as well as much of the Aleutians and rolling or looking at the analysis for today, again, a lot of clear skies, light winds over the interior area with uh, temperatures back into the 80s over much of interior Alaska here, especially over the eastern areas with uh, 85 to 90 for the uh, Yukon Flats down in toward portions of the 40 mile country there. Isolated showers, uh, as I should say isolated thunderstorms it's trying to pop up here along the Alaska Range Copper River Basin. Again, mainly possibly the Talkeetna Mountains, otherwise dry all the way up to the Western Arctic coast. With this front uh, pretty much holding stationary, keeping the rain band in place there from the Alaska Peninsula right up to St. Lawrence Island. And then uh, that low covering much of the Bering Sea now, producing uh, wet, windy conditions there for the Aleutians into the Pribilofs and dry for the southeast coast. Uh, isolated showers developing in areas there, but nothing too widespread with high pressure holding out over the Gulf of Alaska, creating a lot of low clouds here that moved into Cook Inlet today, burning back a little bit here, but will reform later tonight again in Cook Inlet, coming northward, Resurrection Bay, Prince William Sound, and uh, down toward Kodiak Island. Forecast for tomorrow, look for a mostly cloudy day for Kodiak with that southeast flow pulling that lower cloud deck in, keeping it in place there with the main rain band narrowing here along this weakening front, extending across Bristol Bay up along the southwest coast. Areas of light rain or showers here along this feature, lighter than what was seen the last 24 hours. 
Partly to mostly sunny after morning low clouds here over the southern part of the state and along this trough axis, isolated thunderstorms developing again, the eastern Alaska range right on up in toward the Kobuk Valley and the Seward Peninsula. Basically dry with variable cloudiness for the southeast coast, continued light winds there and still pretty breezy here across the Aleutians with uh, showery conditions there. And then rain for the Prairie Bluffs and continued windy. And still looking at small craft advisory level winds for tonight along the southwest coast. Next system out there to the west kind of slides eastward, pushing rain in toward Atka, or actually Adak tomorrow afternoon, extending back towards Shimian at two. This load slowly drifting northward, slowly weakening, keeps it windy and wet over the Prairie Bluff Islands. Northward to St. Lawrence Island, small craft advisory level winds continue along the southwest coast. There is possible gusts of 45 miles an hour again. Uh, now isolated thunderstorms here developing over the interior areas. Uh, Copper River Basin, northwestward there, all the way out to the Arctic coast. And then for Friday, look for uh, thunderstorms and showers again for the Western Brooks Range and over the interior, much like we've seen for the last several days, a little more showery and mostly cloudy conditions here over the Southwest interior. Probably see some sun breaks showing up now that that front has dissipated, moved out of the area. So weakening low, pulling back to the West and Northwest a little bit there as this system slides eastward, bringing rain into the Eastern Aleutians and Alaska Peninsula extending back toward Adak Island. This front and moisture staying mostly to the south, although it does bring a threat of some light precipitation into Heidelberg late in the day. Otherwise, partly sunny skies, isolated shower activity possible for the southeast coast. High pressure just south of the Kenai Peninsula. Again, low clouds burning off to afternoon sunshine, or actually morning sunshine through the afternoon. Same thing into Prince William Sound. Low clouds to start, partial clearing in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy for Kodiak Island. Lows tonight in the uh, upper 40s here down along the uh, coastal areas, Bristol Bay up into the Kenai Peninsula area, Cook Inlet, lower 50s for the Panhandle, 50s and lower 60s in the central interior there, all the way up to about the Brooks Range and then 40s for the Arctic coast. And the highs tomorrow, 85 to 90 here over the eastern interior, mid 80s, central part of the state, mid 70s down toward McGrath and Nikolai, but you can see the 80s extending all the way out to the North Tack Valley again, Ambler area, Copper River Basin lower 80s, 60s and 70s, South Central Alaska, 70 to 75, or into the 70s for the Northern Panhandle, upper 60s down to the south, and in the 50s for the Alaska Peninsula, 40s for the Aleutians and Bering Sea. Lows for Friday morning, 50s in the interior here, lower 60s around Fairbanks to Nanana, or out of Tanana, probably in Nanana as well, 50s and 40s here south of the Alaska Range and southwest part of the state, lows in the 40s, upper 30s and lower 40s for the Arctic coast, and in the 50s for the Panhandle. Highs in the afternoon, 70 to 75 for the northern southeast coast, 60s to the south, 85 to 90 again for the Yukon Flats, lower 80s for the uh, Fairbanks area, and mostly in the 60s or 60s and mid 70s here for South Central Alaska, upper 50s for Kodiak Island.